All right, this is by request. I was asked to take a look at the latest uh, Lubuntu. That's Lubuntu with an L in the beginning, as in lightweight. This is one of the uh, distributions, uh, Linux distributions, that I recommend, the light ones that I recommend. If you are coming from Windows and wanted to try something in Linux that is pretty fast, another one you can take a look at is Linux Lite. But of all the fastest ones that I've tested that is somewhat beginner friendly, I would definitely take a look at Lubuntu. Now, I will take a look at this, not a full review. I've, I've taken a look at this before. So what I, I think about what I'll do here is I'll take a quick look, give you my thoughts, and maybe compare it to what I currently use, which is what you see here. This is the Unity Desktop. Ubuntu is a Unity Desktop uh, version 12.04. So let's first take a look at Lubuntu. Now again, ignore the uh, left panel here in the top. All right, as I said, uh, this is based off the Ubuntu families, lightweight, uh, very fast. RAM usage is pretty light. Let's go to the, um, let's see, system tools, take a look at the task manager. And as you can see here, I have about a gig allotted in the virtual machine here. It's only using about 134 megabytes of RAM, which is pretty good. All right, this is, uh, if you're not a big fan of Windows 8, and like the previous look or a simplified look, then Lubuntu may be for you. You can right click as you usually can with most operating systems and go to your menu, submenu here, desktop preferences. Uh, you won't see a lot of uh, uh, customizations here because again, this is very, very lightweight. It can be customized. You can add stuff to this, but then it wouldn't be as lightweight, would it? Uh, as far as wallpapers go, uh, not a lot. There's some, so if you wanted to change it, feel free. I think I'll just leave it by default for now. Let's go from right to left here at the bottom. Of course, the uh, log out the session. Now, the time and date, this is in 24-hour format. Uh, the one thing that is not quite user-friendly here, if you wanted to change it to 12-hour format, you have to uh, type in a code, a string. Uh, I forget off the top of my head what the 12 hour format hit is. It's not that difficult. You can certainly search and find an answer. I don't know right now. It's just something I haven't, I haven't messed with in a while. But again, this is not, not quite as user friendly. This may or may not bother you. Uh, the sound menu here. Um, one thing about this, this doesn't have the uh, media player uh, integration. For example, with Ubuntu Unity, if I click the, uh, the sound, icon here. This will give me not only my sound settings, but my media player uh, integrations. I have found this to be very, 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 very user friendly. You can certainly add something like this to Lubuntu if you want to, but again, if you start adding stuff to it, it won't be quite as lightweight. So you might as well go with Ubuntu Unity or something that comes already with it. That's strictly my opinion. One thing I do like about this, you can add um, applets little shortcuts to the panel bar by going to uh, right click and add or remove panel items. You have uh, assortments here, click add, and this will give you other plugins that you can install to Lubuntu, which is not available by default in Ubuntu Unity. Right clicking on the top panel doesn't do anything. All right, continuing here, you have your two desktops. You can right click to customize this. And I believe this is the um, Chrome web browser. Yes, it is installed by default. Okay, this uses the, uh, let's see, what does this use? PC Pac-Man Manager File Manager. Again, very easy to navigate through and in, in, uh, to this. If, if you're a big fan of the previous, like Windows XP, which will no longer be supported after March of next year. Definitely take a look at Lubuntu. We'll take a quick look at the start menu here. Accessories, games. I don't play a lot of games personally. Graphics, internet, of course, of course, Chromium installed by default. Office, Abbey Word is something lightweight uh, piece of software to print, create text. All right, sound and video. Let's see what sticks out here. Uh, nothing here. I would probably download VLC system tools. We took a brief look at this. Uh, preferences. One thing I do like about this is the customized look and feel. 
And you can change how this looks, as you see here, the color. Yeah, let's see, what do I'll do? I think I'll leave it at crux, hit apply. And let's get out of that. Well, in a nutshell, this is Lubuntu. Yes, I do like it. Yes, I can recommend it for beginners. Uh, keep in mind, uh, everything will not quite work out of the box. It does require some tweaking. There may be something like this that's a little bit more simple to use with a little bit of tweaking. Maybe this is something for you. It's certainly, it's certainly going to run a lot faster than Ubuntu Unity, a lot less resources. So if you're interested in a uh, fast, lightweight operating system, I would definitely take a look at Lubuntu. Well, that's it. Thank you for the request. Uh, thank you for watching and listening. And as always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future. Ciao.